So this video is going to be about product reviews on uh, bullion websites. And I write reviews on coins that I get, uh, whether I like them or not. And um, as you can see, I write positive reviews along with negative reviews. And uh, I wrote a negative review on the Great Smoky Mountains 5 ounce silver coin that I purchased from Provident. Uh, I was very disappointed with the coin. If you watch the video, you'll know what I'm talking about. You would have been disappointed too. Well, anyways, the only reason why I'm posting this video is the Great Smoky Mountains review that I wrote was the only one that didn't make it onto their website. I wrote this on May 16th, so uh, almost two months ago now, and it hasn't been posted. Every other uh, review that I wrote has been posted, and if you can see, they're all positive reviews. So um, I think that that's wrong that they pick and choose which reviews that they're going to add to their website. I think that they should take the good with the bad. And I think that the reviews are an honest opinion uh, from the consumer of what they feel about the coin. So uh, here I'm going to click on this Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And if you look, they only have one review and it's a five star review. So your average consumer is going to see that and say, oh, it's a five star coin. People were impressed with it. However, if they would have accepted my review, it would only have a three star rating. So I, I believe that this is false advertising. I think that it's wrong that they pick and choose which reviews that they want to um, have on their website. You know, uh, I just think it's wrong. Well, anyways. I just posted a two-star review on Atmex for the African uh, wildlife elephant, the Somali elephant, and I posted a two-star review. Uh, I said, you know, I wasn't overly impressed with the quality of these coins. Um, I posted a link to uh, the video about the Somalian elephants that I made, and I posted a picture about the milk spotting on the coin. And if you look at this coin, let's see what their rating is. Da, 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 da. Oh, you gotta go to product rating and reviews. All right, it has 4.3 stars out of 24 reviews. So that's not bad at all. Um, but we'll see if they accept my two star review. <clears throat> because it, if these bullion companies refuse to add the negative uh, reviews I'm gonna quit writing the positive because I think that that's absolutely wrong I think that uh, you know it is false advertising if people are unimpressed with a coin they should be able to post that in their review and if you look at the review guidelines on Atmax it says that they have the right to remove any review at any time without notice. So uh, I'm guessing that's probably what they're going to do with my review. I think that these bullion websites are removing negative reviews just to make their coins appear that much better. Therefore, false advertising. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, it said accepted reviews uh, will take three to five business days. So I'm going to check back next week and see if my review actually made it on to Atmax's website. 